we will begin as soon as a hand is raised. And I think we've got one now from Christos. Hello, Brandon. Congratulations on the win. Great game. I'd like to ask you, how comfortable do you feel to be, to be on the court on a crunch time, to be the floor general? How comfortable do you feel on that situation? Uh, I'm very comfortable. You know, the more, the more I'm out there, the easier it is for me to, you know, get a rhythm uh, to, you know, find myself within the offense and defense. And so when I'm out there, you know, it's, I don't think it's a matter of like what quarter it is. You know, I'm trying to play the same way, you know, bring energy, uh, bring that energy on the ball defensively, which leads to uh, energy offensively. So when I'm out there, you know, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm trying to play the same way every time. And what kind of statement for your team was that win? That's a big statement. Uh, it's a team that obviously went to the finals. Uh, we knew how important this game was. You know, our mindset going in the game is we needed to hit them in the mouth. We need to be the aggressors. You know, we need to play harder than them. And um, I think we did a really good job of locking in defensively. Um, obviously, we didn't have Clinton down there, so we had to help each other a lot more uh, on, the, on the glass, on the boards. And I think we did a really good job of that. Sarah. Hey, Brandon. Um, hopefully you guys get healthier down the final stretch here, but you might be without some guys for a few more games. Just how encouraging is this to show you guys that you can get some wins and, and scrap for some wins, um, even being as shorthanded as y'all are? Very important. Uh, I think from the starting five down to the bench, we got a lot of guys that can step up and play. Um, you know, the guys that don't play, we play three on three, four on four, five on five. So we're always trying to stay ready. And um, obviously, I say this a lot, but coach preaches next man up. Um, you know, it's not just going to be that starting five in the game the whole time. So you have to be ready because you never know what happens, especially in this type of season, condensed schedule. Uh, you know, obviously, we have to be ready and uh, just stay ready and make sure you know we're on our P's and Q's. Thank you. Don Stinson. Hey, Brandon, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. What is it meant to have Lou Williams with you on the, the bench and uh, in practice? It means a lot. You know, I got he's obviously I've looked up to him, you know, since I was younger. We're from the same area. But uh, as, far, as far as a team perspective, you know, he, he offers a lot of insight on what's going on uh, during the game, during film. Um, I ask him every single game, what does he see out there before halftime? You know, just to give me some uh, insight on what's going on. I, you know, just try to pick his brain a little bit. And so a guy like that, you know, he's always, he's always reading the game. He's always trying to help someone. He's always trying to make the game easier for all of us from position, from point guard to center. And so you need a guy like that who can obviously step in and do his own thing while helping other people. All right, Brandon, I believe that was our final question for you. Oh, wait a minute. Deshaun Tate just put his hand up. So Deshaun will get the final question. Congratulations on the win, Brandon. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. No doubt. You went from essentially from best friend park now to the NBA in, in a place that, you know, you're obviously born and raised. How mm -hmm. How often do you look back at those moments and and use that as, I guess, a catapult of confidence and maybe even still playing with a chip on your shoulder, playing in critical minutes and critical games now for this organization? Damn near every day. <laughs> I, uh, my house, is, I have to go past Best Friend Park to go to my house. And so it's like a little reminder every day, those hot summers I was out there you know, playing five on five from sun up to sundown. Um, you know, I still got some friends that, uh, you know, that are still out there playing and, you know, that I talk to still and stuff like that. So you know, it was humbling. Uh, it just shows, you know, how hard, how far hard work can get you. And, um, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity, just trying to make the most of it, you know, every single day, um, whether I'm on the floor or off the floor, just being a good person, um, being a good teammate, bringing energy. And so stuff like that. So I just try to be an all around person knowing that this game can like be taken from you at any moment. So I'm just, I'm just very grateful for the opportunity. Thank you. Yes, sir.
DG, don't be mad. I have one more for you from uh, George. Oh, no, I'm cool. Yeah. Hey, hey, Brandon, uh, got to combine 47 points tonight from you and Gallo and Lou. How, how satisfying is it, you know, with Trey down to come in and play the way you did tonight? That's that's my dream game right there. Like just us being able to connect uh, that second unit, being ready, you know, obviously a big thing for us is, you know, don't lose the lead. Don't get, you know, comfortable with that second unit. You know, we're trying to push that lead further. And I think we did a really, really good job with that tonight, staying focused on offense and defense, um, getting some really good stops, uh, swinging the ball, you know, getting Gallo involved, getting Lou involved. I think everybody was, you know, was touching the ball, moving around. We was just having fun out there, and that's, that's how I got to be. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, BG, that was our final question. So thank you for joining us. Appreciate y'all.